we're going down into one of the poorest parts of, of Canada and I remember driving through when I was a kid and we always kind of locked our doors when we go down there and now we're going to interact with the people with the whole, for me, a whole different perspective. Columbia Bible College in Abbotsford offers a course called Urban Mission Adventure. There, students spend a weekend living in the downtown east side. I'm Logan. Uh, I'm in Worship Arts. Um, I'm really excited. There's, I think, there's a couple things in here where we get to go uh, help out with church services and stuff. And it's usually the first hello, uh, just getting feet wet. It's the first step out. I think after that, everything will be cool. But it's just that first plunge into being uncomfortable. I'm Ivan Eitzen. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go down and just uh, hang out and see if I can uh, lend a hand to some people who work really hard down there. I uh, have a piece now, I think, uh, through just prayer of God's will and what God's will is for this trip and me. And So yeah. But the trip also has Hawkins excited about a special opportunity. That part of that's leading worship, so getting to bring the guitar along and, and really I mean, I've never led worship on the streets or anything like that, so I'm thinking that's going to be emotional, very, very eye-opening. I'm very excited about that. Jason Wood made the trip a few years ago, and now he's spending a year living and working at Servants, located in the downtown east side. If you want to, um, if you want to find God at work in the world, and you want to to be where, where his heart is beating for, it means you've got to go and, and commit yourself uh, to the poor. In that setting, it's um, the poor give us a prophetic call to, to come out of putting our trust in, in money and to put our trust in God. Sure, the weekend was filled with many great experiences, but the group is now heading to the most exciting part of the journey, the church service. And I pray that yeah, we still have one more day and we're still doing this this service, Lord. But I pray that if some of our hearts are still hard or maybe we didn't think we'd be at the place we are right now at this point in the trip, Lord, that this service and leading this service and the people who are sharing their testimonies and reading scripture, Lord, that this is the place where our hearts are soft. And praise on your holy and precious name, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, five, right. One, two, five! Yeah, I'm over Logan now. What I saw out there was an amazing sense of community. Um, what I saw was at any time there was a mixture of complete awesomeness right beside complete crap. You know what I mean? Whether it's having this amazing conversation with this one lady as there's somebody right beside me dropping their crack rocks into their pouch holder. Or whether it's uh, sitting down, chatting with this guy who's selling some goods. And there's a prostitute with a bloody face crying, running down the road. You know, like at any time there's, there's really good and really bad right next to each other. Hi guys. Um, first, I just leave it like that if all you guys can hear me. Uh, first, I just want to thank you guys for having me here as uh, your guest and uh, sitting here and letting me speak to you. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'll just tell you kind of my story. My name's Ivan Eitzen. Uh, four years ago, I ride out of high school, just 18 years old. Got kind of with the wrong crowd. I uh, just got deeper and deeper into addiction and uh, started using hard drugs. Um, spending $14,000 of my parents' money basically just to uh, do drugs and uh, left school and just continued to uh, use. One of my friends died, OD'd, and his parents found him in his house. And when that happened, it's like, why not me? Like, why did God spare me? How does that choice happen? And yeah, I just like, opened my eyes to like, uh, you know, this life is short. I think they do a pretty good job of saying, you know, you're not, you're not gonna change the downtown east side by coming, you're coming to learn. Um, so I, I was aware of that going in, um, but, but like the, I think the internal pressure is still there. Like you still, you still want to 
to feel like you've you've made a difference and uh, like the downtown east side is is better because you were there. I'm pretty convinced I'm a worship leader. I hate saying stuff like that, but uh, I love what we had at, at that church service where it's just undeniable. The spirit's there. Very little what I'm doing, but I'm able to lead in that. I would love to get with an organization or start something up that, yeah, is on the downtown east side that is uh, maybe an outdoor street service is uh, just going and doing more of that. They're getting to know these people. We won't know what happens next, but what's for sure is the experience the students took with them. Whether it inspires them to live like Jason or look at the world just a little bit differently, they've come out changed.